<laughs> Ram gang. We in this in this thing I say up uh, Ram uh, gang. We in this in this thing I say up uh, Ram uh, gang. We in this in this thing I say up uh, Ram uh, gang. We in this in this thing I say uh. What you looking for if you ain't looking for no Aries? We stay turned up. We be talking about them Aries. Gang, gang. Turn up, turn up for Aries. What y'all doing in October? Talking about them Aries. What's up, I Aries? What's going on in October? Between the 16th and the 31st. Hmm. Hmm. What y'all doing? I know y'all was like, oh, well, we used to mocha being late and shit. That may be true. But I'm a work in progress. I'm getting better. <laughs> I'm getting better and greater every day. <laughs> you better understand it. <laughs> if this is your first time to my channel, hey, boo, hey, I'm mocha. Look out. I may cuss a little. I may cuss a lot. Just depending on what the hell these cards say. Um, I have pre-shuffled, laid your spirit message already, and... A piece of your general. So with that said, yeah, I'm a cuss. So if cussing is not for you. This is not your channel, and I love you a long time. If you decide to go to one of these other beautiful readers on YouTube, who may better assist you at the information and the clarity in which you're trying to seek. If you need a personal reading, that information can be found within the description. However, this is not personal; it's general, so it may not resonate with everybody. Take what does, leave the rest. Keep it moving. You know the rest. Okay. Um, this will be for my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers, uh, between the 16th and the 31st of October. The hell going on, Rams? Let's talk about it. All right. To all of my new subscribers, welcome to the family. We're a little dysfunctional. We don't fight a fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel because Smoke don't play that shit. All right. But we do cuz. We love, we enlighten, we grow, we share, we evolve positive shit on me, okay? We family up in here, and we treat each other as such. Don't be afraid to comment on somebody else's shit. They don't bite. Teach Each one, teach one. We love. Okay? Pay it forward. If you see somebody else battling through the same shit that you've been through, it's okay to give them encouragement. You don't got to know somebody to get them love. That's what evolution is about. Unconditional love. Okay? But it starts within yourself. And Aries, <laughs> let's talk about this inner work. <laughs> Let's get into it. <clears throat> to all of my old subscribers, my old family members, y'all, thank you so much. It's been a journey. Um, thank you for the likes, the shares, the like, the I said the likes, the comments, the subscribes, y'all. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Without y'all, I could not even shine my light. So thank you so much for all that you do. Okay. So I do see here, Ram Gang. During this time, love is all around you. Love is all around you, and a lot of you are in a very grounded place financially, I feel. You feel very abundant. However, some of you guys may be feeling like there's a blockage as far as your intuition. It's not so much as there's a blockage. However, you guys are really needing to work on your root chakra during this time. You really need to do some work on your root chakra. A lot of our spiritual gifts are growing. Aries, your crown chakra is going to be pouring information. You may have remembrance of past lives. A lot of you guys may be unintentionally tapping into your Akashic records or it may be coming to you subconsciously within dreams or like random premonitions during this time. No, you're not crazy. Just keep in mind that we still live here on the 3D. So watch what the hell you tell people because for some of you all, you got to really be careful. Many a few, many a call, few are chosen. OK, so do not be afraid. Hone the ability. OK, some of you all may come into new spiritual abilities like being able to like hear someone's intentions or like feel people's vibrations when, you know, they don't mean you no good. OK, Aries, some of you all, some of you all need to really go back and heal that inner child. But some of you all could also I keep seeing this baby, these babies and Aries uh, readings, baby, this is inevitable. Some of you all may be dealing with um, issues around a child during this time. Maybe your children could be cutting up. And it's happening when you find it, finally find stability in this grounded place. I feel like, Arians, a lot of you all hold the keys to your happiness. Spirit wants you to know, and they're going to be pouring that. A lot of you guys are going to receive um, a download, a major download during this time. 
and it's going to happen while you guys are in nature so if you've been feeling wanting to like the the, the need to want to get out some of you guys may be also very irritated by ants ants are really look up i don't know what ants symbolize spiritually but some of you all may be having ant problems like spirit is communicating with you through ants and you've been so over here and over there and over there and over there you're needing that time to move away to have that space to yourself some of you all are really really kind of coming to terms with how much internal conflict lies there and i feel like you're having these synchronistic moments through people um some of you all are internally conflicted maybe you found yourself having to move to a familiar area where maybe you were heartbroken or maybe in a familiar situation okay or in a circumstance where you found maybe you were let down in the past and maybe you're not seeing what's right in front of you going forward you don't you're not looking at the fact that you're growing and how much you have grown however you're staying in that place of oh last time i was here you know this shit so let me go ahead and get ready no spirit is saying i'm sorry let that shit go let it go and for some of you it's really just slowing down and getting out of your head in a negative way go to fuck the bed who not going to bed go to sleep why are y'all in y'all head? And ultimately, the fact that I see you in your head and it has to do in, in two, three different damn decks up here, I work different. You in your head about this nine of cups. Some of you all could possibly find out you're having a baby or getting pregnant, possibly by a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Congratulations, Mocha Love the Kid. But this is to move you forward. This is to move you forward. Some of you guys are kind of standing in your own way mentally and emotionally from moving forward in areas you hold the keys. You hold the keys to your happiness and it's like you're not seeing that. But understand with this sword being upright within the pineal, a lot of, and it's funny because with this eye over that, over the head, when I told you guys are going to be, you're going to have that spiritual download sometime in nature, okay, during this time frame. And it's going to kind of be this aha moment. And it's going to show you and reveal to you that everything. But some of y'all, this could have happened on recently on um, October the 10th. 1010 was a very prevalent day. That's why I waited to actually stir the energy. I was going to do separate videos, but I got my own shit going on myself. This is a journey for a South family. Okay, so I couldn't quite get to it. However, um, I've also been doing my own inner work. You know, so with that said, I'm not. I'm not uh, exempt from this damn journey. I can't teach you shit I ain't went through myself or that I have to hurt on my damn self. So understand we family. But everything that you desire is right before you. You literally hold it in the midst of your hand. and the grasp of your hands. A lot of you all are very intuitive. And during this time, pay attention to the birds as they are overseers. Some of them bring wisdom to you. A lot of you all may see... Birds that you know is not supposed to be in your residential area where the hell you live in. Like for me, I live in Houston, Texas. The last two weeks I saw um, while actually leaving from my parents' house to go and take care of some other stuff after I drive my baby off. Love, love my business. Get out of it, okay? But look, all right, so I actually saw like some damn parrots. And it was weird because for a long time I had been seeing roosters. So I looked up what it meant and it definitely meant <laughs> what I was feeling. <laughs> but you know, animals, pay attention to the animals. Don't, don't be annoyed by them and try not to kill them, y'all. Now I don't know, I can't speak for everybody, but I have a connection with animals. So try not to kill them. Okay. Don't, don't do that. You know, what if you was that little old? Nah, I can't speak. Mocha don't like the bugs. Roaches, I, they got to die. I'm sorry. You know, I don't like roaches in my real life. I don't, but for real shit, I don't, I don't, the people roaches, they, I, they can't die, but I, I, I can kill the relationship. Okay, look, I don't, I don't like it. Okay, so we're not going to talk about me and roaches. It's a long story, but I started from the bottom, now we here. <laughs> Y'all know I'm Aries. <laughs> Deflect. Let's go somewhere else. Um, but uh, <laughs> during this time, you guys, you have to see that everything that you desire is right before you because 
you have a new beginning, passionate new beginning. And the universe is supporting this new beginning. For some of you, it's with an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. For some of you, I do see some of you all are going to get your wish during this time after moving away from an air sign. Point blank, I said it. For some of you, your desires lie within the air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But you can't move away from the turbulence that once was. I feel like everything you wanted from this person, they're giving it to you. But maybe you had some hurt in the past from this person so you're finding it hard to trust what they're saying or the offer that they're trying to give because you feel like it's a setup like who trying to set you up i mean and it's it's it's, it's, <laughs> it's okay because it just lets us know when those emotions surface that it's still some inner work that needs to be done and this is our spirit is trying to move us towards okay but for some of you all your new beginning is in love and this is someone who's possibly intuitive like yourself Okay, but I do see a beautiful new beginning coming forth. Okay, even with this, with this um, ace of water. Okay, it's kind of like the ace of cups. But something beautiful is trying to be birthed within you, within and internally within you, and then with this here, being that color for some of you all definitely has to do with your heart chakra. It's shifting, baby. Open it up because your ten of cups lies on the other side with this ace of wands. If only you just trust the process and accept the fact it's okay to have to fix something. As Aries, it's hard for us to accept that we feel like everything's supposed to be right. We got it. It's all right. And that's that's not the case. You need this is a very reflective time. But reflecting and doing the work internally is going to bring you expansion. Some of y'all been seeing 333, 444 here all the time. Expansion and stability is on the way. And for some of you, it comes in the form of love, newness, new beginnings that are blessed beginnings that is forcing you to move away from that turbulent place internally. Some of you all hit this damn five ones is everywhere. Let me tell you that. Nigga, that came out everywhere too, okay? Some of you all, maybe during this time, you may be fighting with others, maybe fighting with someone who you have a family with, possibly due to defensiveness or some type of structure, okay? This person could be... Um, Aries, Leo, Sag, okay, or could have that in there, some moon rising in their placements, okay, you could have a family with this person, for some of y'all, y'all finna find out that you finna have a family with this person, okay, congratulations again, because Mocha love the kids, I love the kids, for some of you all, this person could be having a child as well during this time, okay, but I do feel that there's going to be some type of communication. Uh, this could be with an uh, surrounding a Gemini Libra Aquarius or coming from a Gemini Libra Aquarius as well. Okay. And I feel like it's going to be some like real fast moving communication areas. And it's actually going to take things into a new cycle with whomever this is. I feel like you have an air sign in your energy. This person could be coming to tell you that they have a child on the way. Aries, you could be finding out that you're pregnant. Someone could be getting ready to, uh, you can get communication about someone in your family having a child or being pregnant, but there's definitely new cycles trying to be birthed. And I said birth because there's definitely some children energy in here. Some of you could have a child with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, um, especially if your child is an air sign. This person is wanting to come in and to commun come in and communicate. They don't know if they really want to put in the work or walk away, but you definitely will be receiving some communication from this person. But some of you all is uh, having to do with the cardinal sign, uh, Aries, Libra, Cancer, Capricorn, okay? But I do see someone coming in and communicating with you how they truly feel, Aries. They're in love with you. They're in love with you. For someone, for some of you, you have a water sign trying to express this Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but they want to move towards commitment Aries they want to move towards new beginnings okay but you're having to heal from what once was in the past you still have these uh, some of you all it's a third party situation that could have occurred okay but for some of you all you definitely needed to heal that and move forward it definitely taught you how to <clears throat> and let me tell you this okay y'all no relationship is a perfect relationship every relationship is going to come with some extra and it's crazy because the damn sirens decide they want to just flow through as I said that. Because I feel like some of y'all spirit is really pushing you to wake up before you miss your blessing. Bring that along. I've been through this too long. But I'll be damned if I see y'all. Y'all want me to turn into uh, Moante. 
because it can go out y'all we can have a whole mo and say concert okay shit so look don't do it you didn't put in all this work for yourself and ultimately, beneath the surface, whether you want to admit it or not, do pride and ego. Because some of y'all are very prideful and you can't buy nothing with that. Okay? But I feel like some of you all are really stuck in the past of how relationships once were. Some of you all have really gotten over a lot of third-party situations. This could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Water sign. They want to reconcile with you. Some of y'all got a cancer. They want their boo back. They want you, okay? They want to reconcile. For some of y'all, they don't even know how the hell to start. Every time I feel like they talk to you, <clears throat> you live in this place of what once was instead of seeing the future of what can be. And I feel like it makes this person a bit discouraged. But for some of y'all, they're not taking no for an answer going forward. They're like, hell no. Well, just look. Just cuss me out. Say everything you got to say because I respect you on your throne. I ain't trying to take your crown, but say everything you need to say and get it off your chest so you can turn this damn sword upright so we can move forward. Now, it's crazy because you would want to say, no, turn it upright. Yeah, hell yeah, because if this, with the swords, I look at them, I tell you I work different. This sword is placed down. So I feel, Aries, these are things that you are internally holding. Yeah, you sitting on your throne, you looking real nice. Some of y'all are dealing with a Taurus. But you sit on your throne and you looking real nice. You're looking real good. However, you're not really communicating or saying you're keeping everything close to your chest, but you're going to block your blessings. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. It's okay to be vulnerable. The lesson of this is it's okay. You got to trust somebody. Your intuition is popping. If you felt something intuitively about a child, especially if it had to do with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, you are absolutely right. Some of y'all are getting ready to get um, some news, some news. And it's something that you're passionate about, but it could be somebody, somebody could be trying to hold on to somebody or your partner due to a child. And I feel like intuitively, you some of y'all may feel discouraged, like this person is trying to block your new beginning. They're trying to come in and out because the thing is, even if your partner went forward to that person, they wouldn't stay long. They coming right on back. Some of you all have an Aries Leo Sagittarius coming in. And intuitively, I feel like for my intuitive, some of y'all know somebody coming in to offer a new beginning. And at one point, you possibly wanted that from this person. But after actually doing some soul work, some healing, you know, some looking at things from a different perspective, I feel like you want everything to be fair and just. And so I feel like it's hard for you to make a decision. Some of y'all are sitting on making a decision by not making a damn decision. But some of y'all definitely got a water sign in y'all energy that really wants to move forward. Some of y'all, yeah, some of y'all this water sign could have left you out in the cold or you left this person out in the cold. Some of y'all are in love with an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, they could have left you out in the cold due to the fact that somebody wanted to work as far as a relationship and somebody just wanted to have some good old sloppy sex. Some of y'all got some good sloppy sex coming during this time. Venus retrograde energy is about love and passion. And, you know, you can do, do your research on Venus. You'll see, especially for those of y'all who's seeing roosters like me. But um, I also seen some damn, like, parakeets. And, y'all, I live, it's it's hot as hell, but we don't live by no, like, major water, no tropical type of shit. We live, not, not like, it ain't that. So I'm like, why the hell am I seeing parrots and parakeets, big, beautiful green birds? So when I looked them up, it talked about the things that is for me, being for me, and everything that was promised to me spiritually is mine. It was really, really, really deep. I forgot what kind of damn bird it was, y'all. But it was like a green parrot, like bird, all green. And it was yellow by like, I, I, it was like yellow by the beak. But it was all green, beautiful bird. But it had like a little, like a little mohawk looking thing. Beautiful bird, but it shouldn't have been in the hood. Some of you all definitely have a Capricorn towards Virgo. This person, they see stability with you. This person may or may make you a financial offer as well. But some of you is surrounding this child energy, okay? You can have uh, children with this person. Some of y'all are making a judgment call during this time on between two partners, someone who you could possibly have a child with. This could be your partner making a choice between you and somebody who they have a child with. But for some of you all who are dealing with the fire energy, there are things going on behind the scenes that you don't see. 
Some of you all were dealing with possibly a Leo. This person was not. Maybe you, Aries, or this person. Like, I feel like this person could have wanted to hold on to you. But maybe, Aries, you had plans. Otherwise, you wanted to come in, get you some, and hit the deck. And I feel like, intuitively, you know that this is your boo. This is Bay, But you're choosing to be stubborn. Y'all, don't, don't, don't let your blessing pass you up. But some of you all are having to have a conversation to shift one cycle in your life. Okay, and forgiveness, a lot of forgiveness, less fighting and more forgiveness during this time. You don't have to like someone, but respect is free because you want it. So definitely give it. Okay. But for the most part, I do see someone coming in with the offer. This could be a Capricorn towards Virgo. Some of y'all are definitely in your head about it. Y'all in your head about it. you like, do I really want to take this page ass off and I'm a whole queen? Mm, nah, I wanted that offer before, but now I think about it. Hell nah, that offer is burdening. I actually dodged the toxic ass bullet. So yeah, I'm going to take this little spin on um going into this new cycle and jumping off this wheel. I ain't going to shit blindsided though. This is a very reflective, observative, internally mending and healing time, Aries. Watch the way that you communicate with others because it may not be in your best interest, especially if you're going at the situation defensive. Before you respond, take what the person said, roll it around in your head a little bit. Don't react. Roll it around in your head a little bit and then respond. Take yourself out the situation first as if you were like a third party viewing the situation and then go back and respond to that person. Even if it takes you a day or two, especially if you love this person, because it's a lot of internal work that needs to be done. And I feel like a lot of you guys are needing to express that, but you're choosing to keep it close to your chest. It's healing time, baby. And love is all around you. Whether you want it or not, it's inevitable. And spirit is trying to move you to that place of loving expressiveness kindness, peace, but certain things got to get let go because I feel like some of y'all are walking out of cycles, actually getting the closure that you need with these people coming forward to close that door, to move forward so that you can forgive and heal, heal, drop all them damn ones. Some of y'all was toxic in your relationship is you partially Aries needing to drop them once. But some of y'all Capricorn need to do this. But drop them damn once. Put them down. They heavy, ain't they? Spirit trying to make you let them go. Your choice. Because I don't want to hold all them damn ones. I should. My purse heavy enough. The fuck? All right? But some of you all are definitely having to cut some things out. Possibly cut a person, place, or thing out. In order to get your wish. For some of y'all, it's an Aquarian. Some of y'all may be cutting off of Aquarius to go to a water sign. Capricorn, I mean Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Some of you could have cut off what you thought was a wish in your lower vibration. To truly choose unconditional love. And I feel that that's very healthy, Aries. Why would you fight your blessing? Spirit don't know what the hell to send you. Like your heart won't this ten of pentacles. But intuitively, you know, it's up to you to be real. Some of y'all have somebody who's coming forward to speak to you, but they stalking you first. So if you feel that you're being watched, some of y'all, it's an air sign. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And for some of y'all, um, it could be a Capricorn. For some of you all, it could be a Virgo. For some of y'all, it's a Sagittarius. Some of y'all, it could be a Leo, Libra, Cancer. few people in the building. But truly be reflective and trust what you feel don't worry i got some exercises coming for that but trust what you feel and respect what you feel but not at the expense of people who in your life who truly love you and you know the difference we spiritual teachers come on we gotta do better you know the difference so let me know if this resonates. This is what I have for my Aries between the 16th and the 31st of October. I love you, love you long time, baby. I love you long time. 
And please, if you need a personal reading, hit me up. I do have a special going on. I know I cut it off until the 15th, but I'm going to extend it into the 1st. Because folks was like, Mocha, you know you wrong. Because I got paid and I had to go pay my rent. Okay, family. It's extended into the 1st. So I will announce it through our other videos that I record. But I love y'all very much. And until next month, or ne mid-month, or whenever the hell, I I'm going to go live. I ain't telling y'all when because y'all going to be looking for it. And I don't want them emails. <laughs> but when I do, I will. It will be a super chat live. So I will be taking the super chat questions first. And then I'm going to also do about 25 um, questions that are just free questions. So I don't know how many I will be answering totally, but I plan to do it for about two hours. So let me know. Y'all stay posted. And if you have not subscribed, please do so. So you can ring that bell and get notified when I do new videos. And I love y'all very much. Namaste, family. Y'all be nice.